观众朋友，你们好，欢迎来到北美警察，我们又见面了。二零二三年一月二十二日，二十四岁的佛罗里达健身教练拉沙尼孤身在健身房锻炼时，差点遭到二十五岁的泽维尔·托马斯·琼斯的强暴。这个疯狂的事件已经过去好多天了，相关的视频刚公布。拉莎说出了目前的感受。Overall, I've been feeling good,、uh, mentally, physically.、Um, as soon as you know this video kind of went out, I went pretty viral, <laughs> and waking up to a lot of support and love, you know, that, and it's it's amazing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have I've gotten millions of people from around the world just messaging me like, "Hey, I'm from here, here." They're all calling me badasses, inspiring, like inspiring. <laughs> Them、um, to you know work out and to even just take classes to defend themselves and get stronger, and that's actually like an amazing feeling. 在琼斯图谋不轨之前，他就站在那，没有使用任何健身器材，也没在锻炼。这难道不算个警示吗 ？So no, not really. Um, so after I let him in and everything, um, I was in, like in the zone working out. I didn't really pay much attention to him until you know I finished my workout and I stood up. That's when I noticed he was just standing there, but I kind of just ignored it because I was like, okay, maybe he's just, you know, doing. Not, I don't know what he was doing, but I just let it alone. I didn't want it. I didn't want it to affect me or anything. So I just let it be. And I went back on my phone to put a self timer on, and next thing you know, he just came right after me. Chungsu 走向拉萨时，他们似乎有些言语交流。So、um, when he approached me,、um, he didn't say anything at all.、Uh, he didn't say a single word until we got to the other side of the gym. Me, on the other hand,、um, when he approached me and when I pushed him, I said, "Bro, what, what the f are you doing? Get the f away from me!" And I just kept pushing him and pushing him, and then that's when he started chasing me, and we ended up on the other. Lasa 跑到健身房的另一侧，琼斯紧随其后。So when we got to the other side,、um, I was trying to grab my phone to call nine one one. And that's when he said, "Don't do that. Don't call nobody." And I was like, "What?" And that's when you know he grabbed me. Lasa is a fitness instructor, but from the training process, he seems to have learned a skill of self-defense. Well, yeah. So after I started punching him in the head, you know, with my phone and my hand,、um, he kind of threw me on the ground. And then after I punched him in the head, you know, with my phone and my hand,、um, he kind of threw me on the ground. But I was able to kind of put him in a little chokehold real quick, and then try to call nine one one. But he kept trying to grab my phone, so I just ended up stopping. Uh, trying to call number one and just kept fighting him. 很多网友关心的一个话题，这是个公益大楼，进出得用门禁。明显的，琼斯没有门禁，是拉莎给他开的门。一般的常识是不给陌生人开门。Just once, um, but we never really had any encounter or you know nothing at all out of the like this situation. Um, but other than that, out of that encounter, nothing. 给陌生人开门，差点导致自己被强暴。People forget their key fobs, you know, and you may or may not have seen them before or not. I'm one of those people who forget their key fobs, and you know, just like any other person would, would they will let them in, and so that's why I let him in.、Um, not because I saw him before or anything. Overall, I I would let anybody in because I would want the same thing. Lasa 从缠斗中挣脱出来，跑到健身房外。琼斯也急着大步走出。Mm -hmm. Well, after I ran out,、um, I actually called nine one one. Um, and I, as I was calling nine one one, I turned around, and he actually like, vanished. I didn't see where he went. He just went out into the darkness. And I ran by to some neighbors. I knocked on some of the doors, and luckily, a couple opened the door. And... 警察很快就来到现场。Yeah, it was crazy how. Yeah, so the police got there within like two minutes after me calling, and there was like seven patrol cars. Just they all popped up. I was like, oh my goodness. And they all followed me back to my apartment, just started talking to me for a couple hours, making sure I was okay. And the next, very next day, I guess、um, this man he attempted to、uh, break into another residence and、um, was not successful. He ran off, and luckily the police were already here trying to get footage of my incident. And I told them like, "Hey, he's here, he's here," and luckily they caught him. 太好了，琼斯被警察逮捕了，事出必有因。拉莎从警察那得知了琼斯放肆的动机。Yes, I did.、Um, he also admitted in his interview with the cops that he did want to rape me. 事情已经过去，拉莎也已从阴影中走出来了。Um, no. After shortly after about two days, um, I I've been back in the gym ever since. Um, it hasn't stopped me one bit. Um,、uh, I'm 
these type of situations, you should never let it stop you from doing what you love and enjoy in life. And I made sure. 世事无常，这种事难免再次发生。拉萨告诉所有女性朋友：勇敢搏斗，才能免遭强暴；只有不放弃，才有胜利的机会。Yeah, like I always said, you know, don't stop, don't ever stop, don't ever give up, keep fighting, because the more stronger you push out, the more you fight back. The more they're gonna stop and like, damn, this girl's a fighter. We, I don't want her. And the more you just keep fighting, and the more they they see that you are scary, that they're like, oh god, I don't want this. Like, that's all. Don't ever give up. Don't stop. 有网友说，这个女孩的勇敢救了自己。她很幸运，因为嫌犯没有武器，也没有过度使用暴力。别的网友对这女孩也是赞赏有加。她不仅在危难中不言放弃。而且在经历这个重大事件后，很快就振作起来。两天后就回到健身房，做自己热爱做的事，继续享受着美好的生活。在整个采访过程中，脸带微笑，毫不吝啬地分享自己的感受。也有网友觉得很无助，竟然有如此卑鄙之人，前往作案未遂，一切暴露在镜头下，尚在警方的追捕中。第二天还在同一地方放同样姿势，眼里根本没有法律二字。